The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour. Brought to you by Nadex. Call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Welcome, folks. We appreciate your growling and problem with us out here. Right now, we have the Dow Industrials up 38. NASDAQ is down 7. S&Ps are up 2.5. NASDAQ already was green, so we've already made it high on the NASDAQ. Okay. It's another day. Why it's, not? It's Tuesday, it right? It would be a Tuesday without. Exactly. <laughs> uh, gold. Gold's down 540, trading at 1276. You get silver down 16 cents, 17 dollars and 7 cents. Both gold and silver caught a nice bid yesterday, as did oil. Oil is uh, down 33 cents right now, 57 dollars 99 cents, 57 dollars flat. A uh, barrel. You got uh, lights. Uh, you get notes. Ten-year note. Down two ticks, 125.09. 30-year bond up three, 154.10. King dollar, king dollar's up by 353 ticks, trading at 95.010. The euro is at 115 and three quarters to the U.S. dollar. The yen is a trading at 114 and a quarter to the U.S. dollar. We get open, we take a look uh, inside first, the Dow Industrials. We'll see what the strength versus the weaknesses out here. Uh, strength out here. Point-wise is that you have Boeing uh, putting 18 positive points. It's there every day, man. <laughs> $266 stock. That's going to do it. Seriously, man. Yeah. Disney's putting 13 into it. Positive. Travelers is putting six. United uh, Technologies putting six. Taking away from it. Nike's taking four away. You get J.P. Morgan taking three and a half. Caterpillar's taking uh, three. I was just going to say before yeah. you jump away, just to, you know, to keep it in perspective, right? So Boeing's only up two dollars and seventy-five cents yeah. for a two hundred and sixty-six dollars stock, right? Versus Disney up two dollars for a hundred dollars stock, and they're look, both putting the same. You know, and it's like, that. and then you look down to DP, DWDP. I'm not yeah. even sure what that is. Dupont. Dupont. Yeah. So up forty cents. For only a seventy dollars stock, you know, and percentage wise, you know, these are b bigger moves than a two dollar. It's wild, move. huh? When you really price think about weighted it. is quite a yeah, yeah. It really is. It is. And so it. Why would I guess when so when, on the same just to carry it forward, right? You have Nike down sixty seven cents, but it's a fifty five dollar stock. So what's that? That's over one percent, and it's only taken away forty six four point six points versus Boeing. That's about one percent, and it's putting almost twenty points in. So you have a stock up one yeah, percent, putting twenty points, and you have a stock down over one percent, taking only four point six. And what is so? Let's just this for, this for smart how they did that, wow. meaning how they made the indice. Because it's skewed, right? It's skewed to high price stocks. It is, yes, it's skewed to its high price stocks for yeah. sure. Um, but that could be smart and bad. It could be, you know what I mean? It, yeah. It's smart on a rising market if you want it to accelerate to the upside, right? Because as they become more heavily That's priced, right. they, but it's the same way on the and downside. Then they, so when they go down, they just kick them out though and get a new one in. Okay. So, <laughs> so what? What? Are, let's look up the market caps for Boeing okay. and Nike. Okay. So B A. 158 billion. Okay. 90 billion. Right. So, you know, in reality, Boeing's a little bit, one and a half times the company, right? Yeah. But it's putting four to five times the points on a similar percentage move. Right. You know, so if it was, if it was a cap weighted index, um, Boeing would only be putting about one and, one a, and half a half times right. what Nike was taking away. So it's just a nice, you know, example of it's how huge. things become skewed, for sure. It's, it's definitely huge. Yeah. Uh, let's go inside the NDX 100, and let's see what we have happening inside the NDX 100. Uh, leaders out here. Uh, well, actually, let's do it this way, because this... So, wow. Did I see Priceline down $196? I think I did. Yes, you did. I was <laughs> looking at them. They came out with their earnings, guiding down. TripAdvisor also. I don't know if they're in the NASDAQ 100, but they wow. also are having a, a tough uh, open. $198 down. Now, that's a trip. That's 10%. Right. Thankfully, they are not in the Dow. Otherwise, that would be quite a detractor. <laughs> 200 points. <laughs> Look at that points. move. Yeah. So this is the second gap down. When they came out with their earnings last time. Yep. Went from, they closed there at... 2049, open the next day at 1914. 
This is a monster, man. Holy cow. You talk about and they actually beat on earnings, but it was the guidance that... Um, yeah. There, it seems that when I was going over some of these last night, um, and the same with TripAdvisor, the third quarter is fine, but coming into the fourth quarter, they get some big problems with... with and a lot of these... I think equities, it was even next year as yeah, well to carry. Yeah. Um, so, um, on, the, on the upward side inside the NDX 100, Discover Communications up 5%. Uh, INCY up 3.4, Fox is up 3.3. Uh, taken away from it, of course, is Priceline. Skyworks, that's a big Apple, Apple supplier. That's down 5.7%. Uh, Microchip is down 3.6. And you got Western Digital down 2%. Um, there's some heavy moves out here, man. Let's yeah. go back over and take a look at uh, TripAdvisor for a second. So, uh, TRIP. TripAdvisor, man, that's got smoke too. Holy yeah, cow! Yeah, it's actually down 20% almost. Yeah, you're trading down seven dollars and 34 cents. Look at this, a one-way trip. Started out at 94 dollars, uh, July of 2015. Now it's going to be another ABC down. Man, oh man. Put that on a monthly for a second. Yeah, it's going right back to where it started in 2012. 28 dollars. You already broke 39, which was the high of that. Um, gold contract, let's take a look at gold. So, when we get off the air yesterday, uh, gold and silver took off topside, as did oil. Yeah. Uh, the market, well, not the market, the metals and the oil markets start get worried about uh, Saudi Arabia. Um, Maybe it had to do with that second death that was kind of breaking kind yeah, of in right, the morning session. Right. And people uh, were gun just, battle. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's one thing locking people up at the Ritz. Right. Another thing. <laughs> no, I mean, seriously. What do you want to do? You want to get locked up in the rich or you don't want a gun battle? Right. Yeah. And that's, you know, there's a lot more fear. If right. They just um, start killing people over there, for sure. Yeah. Not even people, princes. That's like... Well, you know, the, the, what, you, what, what you haven't seen in a long time, like, when you were just getting bombed, it was normal reading in the papers that in Saudi Arabia, Middle East, that... Guess what? If you steal something, they cut your hand off. Do you know what I mean that type? Sure. That type of uh, punishment was normal. Sure. Now I haven't seen that in years. Yeah. You know, I mean, yeah. you know, that's kind of gone to the wayside. But all of a sudden, yeah. this came back roaring. Yeah. You know? so. Yeah. No, for sure. I mean, they just allowed women to drive. I mean, that's not a right. you know Saudi Arabia is our friend, but that's because they have a lot of oil. Right. You know, in terms of right. social progress. Yeah. Um, yeah. They, they have a long way to go and. Yeah. This is one example of it, for sure. That's, that's for sure. 877 yeah. um, ISIS beheadings in 2015 at Big Time. Yeah, that's ISIS. That's, that's a different There's a game. difference. Terrorism yeah. versus an actual government yeah, punishing their own citizens. Exactly. And claiming right. it's a democratic way of punishing crime. Right, right, right. Big to differences. To totally. Yeah. <laughs> uh, some of the higher volume stocks out here. Let's take a look at them out here. We have um, Bank of America's off 21 cents. We're already, uh, Chesapeake Energy's flat. Um, Verizon's down 39 cents. You got Intel uh, 5 oh, True Car. This is getting whacked, too. Uh, Oof. Yeah, down $5.30 to 33%, right? Yeah, I was going to say it's tough when you're a $15 stock down 5 Oh, Oof. God. Uh, 877. Look at Weight Watcher. Oprah, she's made a lot of money on that stock. So yes. up $8.11. That's almost 20% to the upside. Right. And when you look at this, you can see when she got in, too. I remember this day so well, man, because I'm saying to myself, you know, is that going to make a difference? Right down here. $10. <laughs> Five bagger. Yep. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I come right back. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. Thank you. 
platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Techno Mental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. We take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back, folks. The Dow right now is up 30. You got the Nasdaq down four. S&Ps are up two and a half. Let's go over to our man, Mr. Kevin Hinks at TD Ameritrade Think or Swim. And don't forget, folks, every trading day right here, 11 to 12 Eastern Standard Time, no matter where you are in this great country of ours, just hit TFNN.com on your cell phone, hit Tiger TV. You're going to get some great strategies set up each and every day. If you want to understand this option market upside down, Thursday, you want to end up... Uh, Understand the futures market, great program, defined risk. You better have defined risk out here today when we look at Priceline and TripAdvisor. Let me tell you something. Kevin Hanks, what's going on? Good morning, guys. How's everything? It's going great, man. We got, I mean, I, I hope you have great weather in Chicago, Kevin, because it's like insane here. It's 75 degrees, and of course, that is a whole different <laughs> ball game because we're used to like a hot summer. So it's, it's like right. insane. It's gorgeous, man. Well, this is the time of year to be in Florida. That, that's for sure. I'll be there in about... Ten days. Oh, we like it. Oh, go. that's a beautiful thing. Thanksgiving, right. here we come. I like that's it, man. Right. That's right. Can't wait. Can't wait. Yeah, it's getting a little. Uh, it's getting a little chilly here in Chicago. It's getting into the 40s now, pretty Oof. much daily. It's a here. Well, brisk. you know you, the way that natural gas market moved yesterday. <laughs> holy cow! I mean, and that was they were saying that what the Chicago was going to be 17 degrees under. Uh, normal temperature. That, you yes, know, yes, scary. I did see that. So, <laughs> yep. And, uh, you know what? We had a pretty mild winter last year, though. So, uh, yes. I'm hoping for the same this year. I don't know if we'll get it. Wow. Hey, so, you know, when we talk about defined risk, it's like, it, it's pretty amazing, you know, but the price line. It's been a great stock, but the bottom yeah. line is that you open up 200 down. I mean, <laughs> it's pretty intense, man. Right, they're, you know, they're, they're getting some, well, it's two things, right? The, the biggest problem with Priceline is what's going on with the travel industry and how competitive it's getting and how much money they have to spend to, to bring in more revenue, right? And yes. So, as, as you saw with, with, with what they released yesterday, but, you know, th th this whole industry, not only that, the bigger problem is, Priceline trades seventeen, eighteen hundred dollars. I know. So a lot of people, you know, it's down ten percent. That that seems like a lot, and it is, but that's a two hundred dollar move in that stock. I know. Ten percent. So it's difficult for some people, people with smaller accounts, to trade a stock like Priceline. Oh yeah. I mean, I've never traded. <laughs> right. It is, it is. Yeah. Here's the other side of that argument. 
what it does, it keeps it keeps some of the short funds out of their market. Okay, which right? is yeah, why, right because it's priced so high that it prices some some funds and some short funds and things like that out. That's a great point because what happens, folks, and what Kevin's saying is that you know when you have a short position on it, it stops the acceleration down because people buy it back to take their profits. You know. Yeah. So, so, so th that's you know that's something. It's kind of like a new theory. You've seen this more in the last well, five or ten years than you've ever seen before with stocks. You know, normally you get a stock like this and they split it. Yes. Right. Several times, but uh, it's getting more and more commonplace now for these stocks not to split. I know, no doubt. So, what are we going to be looking at out at Swim Lessons and at uh, TD Network today, Kevin? Today we got a, another big show coming up where we're going to talk about. It seems very simple. But we're going to talk about covered call strategies. Okay, cool. Selling calls against long stock, and we're going to talk about all the ways to do it and how to move it and how to make your decision on what call in terms of uh, day till expiration, probabilities, you know, how to do a covered call strategy in one trade versus two trades and things like that. So we're going to work on everything having to do with covered call strategies. Nice. Hey, let me ask you, when you, you know, and of course we're still in earnings season, folks, which is great because, you know, Every day, you know, Kevin has different strategies out there. When you do uh, whether, you know, the spreads and you do like a, a two by four by ten, right? Sure. What what is the criteria? Is there different criteria all the time? But when you're when you're setting, you know, different numbers up, meaning different contracts value for the spread. Well, when when, when we do and and we've te taught them a lot that this past season yes. is the uh, unbalanced butterfly right the trades and what you do is you you base it off of the expected move in, oh cool in stock, okay right and then yep. what this does it allows you to trade something like that for a credit right yeah in, in this case we do like one by five by four. Yes. So it's a it's a risk defined strategy. Right. You're just it's a, it's a butterfly with a with an, an unbalance in terms of you sell the more out of the money, put spreads. You know the, the no that's cool. Flipper. I get that. I missed that part of it. That you're, you're right. using the expected move, which is dynamic. Right. Okay. Right. And right. We, we based our our short strikes or our target based on that. And if the stock goes up, you make your credit. Right. right? And you keep it. But if the stock goes down into that range, yep. you can actually do it for a credit on both sides. I know, Listen, I've seen it have a couple of them. And I, that's yeah. what I was trying to figure out. Like, wow, this is a trip, man. Because a yeah. couple of them had a bigger moves and you were still all right, which was, yep, which but, was but pretty cool. Risk to find. Now, you've got a little more risk in this Yes. Case, yes. There's always trade-offs. The fact that you have a chance to make money both sides up or down comes with a little risk in a catastrophic move to the downside, but it's still a, an effective strategy if, if used correctly. Unreal. Folks, every day right here, stay tuned. you got another 35 minutes. Go to TFNN and hit Tiger TV. Kevin, you have a great one, a safe one. Of course, we look forward to the show at 11 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Thanks for having me on, guys. Have a great Thanks, one. Thanks, Kevin. Yeah, you know, he's been setting the, those trades up, and that's what I missed about how he's doing it sure. with the expected move. And that's something that I still need to wrap my head around is, and you watch that a few times, you know, because you do. it's just the it, one by four by five, as, right. you know, and then right. just following along. And, right. But that's where the repetition kind of lets it sink in. It, it does. And, folks, um, 11 o'clock, I mean, if you're, if you're into defined risk, uh, it's pretty cool. And, and he is so... He's got... He's, and he's not... A, the thing that's what I really love about it, too, you know, he... He's not technical at all. Like, he'll take my chats and throw them out the window. Sure. You know what I mean? Sure. Because what he is, is that what's the expected move? What's the probability? Sure. And that's, that's his number. Totally, right? which is Which is really cool, man. I'm yeah. taking it. You know what I mean? 877-927-664. And you talk about probability. I see something up on the front page of TFNN that's looking pretty cool. Totally, man. We, yeah. uh, our man Larry Pesavento, we're lucky enough to follow him every morning. So yep. he is teaming up with his buddy John Jameson again, November 15th. So that is a week from tomorrow, Wednesday night. They're going to be doing a workshop on the hidden secrets behind trading and investing in cryptocurrencies. We talked Amazing. to John on here in yep. the morning and he was kind of talking about it. I've had some conversations with him where he's trading this and you know, you want volatility, man. Right. Oof. Right. Whether it's Bitcoin, Ethereum, um, all of the above. Yes. So anybody that signed up last month, any current subscribers to Fibonacci 24-7, you'll okay. gain access to this webinar nice. week from tomorrow. Uh, if, you, if you're not a subscriber, you can get in there, sign up, comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers. 
Can't go wrong there. You That's gain straight. access still to the previous workshop that they yeah. had in there. Along with, you'll gain access to this one, November 15th, hour-long workshop. They'll take questions. And so, a bunch of great topics. You know, the reason behind the move, where and how to trade them and how to get started, the single most important question to ask before trading them, how to recognize supply and demand in cryptocurrencies, um, how to know if they're being hyped and how you can profit, the difference between Bitcoin, I mean, this is a lot, I'm going to be watching this uh, for, sure. for sure, difference between Bitcoin and Ethereum and why knowing this will put you in the top 1%. And this is, you know, an area where you can gain a lot of advantage where information isn't as At easy. At the beginning, yeah. yeah. You know, there's Huge. a lot to be gained when you understand something and, you know, just why Bitcoin 2017 is internet in 1990, that's yeah. an interesting one. And then the type of news driving events like the FOMC and non-farm payable events of cryptocurrencies, that news events, when they're coming out. So check yeah. that out right on the front page, sign up. And of course you get Gary, Larry's awesome newsletter to boot. Beautiful thing. Totally. Stay right there folks, Tommy and I are coming right back. Dow right now is up 15, Nasdaq's down 10. To me, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. Everbank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. If that excites you like it does me, call 1-855-750-4051 to find out what they can do for you. That's 1-855-750-4051. Call them today. Everbank Bank is a member FDIC and equal housing lender. Hi folks, this is Tom O'Brien. If you'd like to be the bank and get the type of interest they receive instead of the low interest rates they give to clients, then I have an investment you may want to take a look at. I'm offering four-year secured first mortgages on billable city lots in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment can be anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000 per billable city lot. The interest paid is 7% per year, paid monthly. Depending on the investment, the income per month per lot ranged from $175 for a $30,000 investment to $437.50 for a $75,000 investment. If you are in the CD market, you want to look at this investment. St. Petersburg is located in Pinellas County, which is the densest county in Florida. If you're looking for an investment with your principal intact that pays a good interest rate, this may be for you. The supply is limited, so act now. For more information on these secured first mortgage opportunities, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen, live, during those shows, and have access to all those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming. See high-definition video giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Andy Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high definition audio and video. Tiger TV exclusively at TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. <laughs> Welcome back, folks. So Dow Industrials right now up 25. You get the Nasdaq down 8. S&Ps are up 1.5. Let's go over to the uh, IBB and see what kind of action we have. Uh, so you got the uh, biotech uh, index down 86 cents. We are trading 314. Not much action there. But that, that did come down pretty hard from uh, the 342 mark. The... Um, 
S N A P, I believe. Uh, Just one more time. Uh, Snap is coming out with their numbers after the close today. There you so, go. Four o'clock. Four o'clock. So this company, let's see, where did it go public at? We're at fifteen dollars. I want to probably get seventeen dollars. That's yeah. unusual. Um, Two hundred and thirty million shares they pushed out. That was a one-way trip. Look at that, man. So that's pretty intense. So yeah, it popped on the opening. Yeah, popped on the. What did I say? Went went at seventeen, but yeah. yet opened it. Uh, looks like somewhere at twenty-four. Yeah, yeah, twenty. And then goes as low as eleven. This will be interesting to see what happens here. Yeah, I mean, the last mm -hmm. time they came out with their earnings, they weren't what the, number, the market kind of wanted to see in terms of they should be a growing company. Yeah. And they didn't have the type of growth numbers, just speaking in users, that you would want to see in a company that's kind of losing money in an effort just to gain market share. Right, um, right. So it'll be interesting. Well, yeah, and you know what's wild is that I remember, you know, when, when Facebook, this was about eight months after Facebook had become public, what happened is that the market was saying that, well, hey, Facebook, they can't sell mobile ads. <laughs> and then all of a sudden they had a quarter. Yeah. And, I mean, it's like they went from selling, like, a few mobile ads to, like, hundreds of millions of dollars. Sure. You know, so it's going to be intriguing watching this thing shake out. It is. Um, you know, if we go overseas and we take a look at overseas, last night uh, you had Asia, Asia was higher last night, I believe. Yeah, Asia was up. Asia was up. Um, yeah, Asia was up. Uh, you know, from eight tenths of a percent to 1. one seven. Yeah, yeah one point seven. Uh, now Europe, a uh, different ball game. Uh, Europe was kind of flat to side, sideways to flat. Um, so we'll see uh, what kind of juice gets. Uh, inside our markets today. Of course, the only kind of juice that we've had on a continual basis uh, is up juice. <laughs> and uh, if you haven't test drove the Nadex platform, folks, great time to do it. Come over to our website, at TFNN. You can hit the banner, bring up the uh, platform. They'll put $25,000 of paper money into your account, and you can uh, walk along with us as we trade these defined option contracts. Uh, so this afternoon, we have API coming out. Yes. Um, We'll see where that oil is going, and you know the once oil took off, it was really intriguing. Even when we were on the air yesterday, you know it, it had got over the consolidation it was in, and it had been in that consolidation. I think that was went back a year and a half. I think. Yeah, we haven't seen fifty-seven dollars in a while. Yeah. Yeah. So let's see. What's that? That's January. Oh, it's January is twenty seventeen. Okay, so put it back there. Yeah, I mean, you know, it looks like that, you know, it's game up here to 62. I mean, yeah. it's, that's where the mountain is, right? We're above that $55 range yeah. for sure. Yeah. And um, we'll see what the inventory is, but with Saudi Arabia getting a little bit of a shakeup, right. I don't see the price of oil plummeting anytime soon No. with what's going on over there. But, you know, there's also, I heard some reports, I was listening to Bloomberg a little bit on my way in this morning and talking about something about, you know, OPEC and, and just the shale production in the U.S. is just leaps and bounds. And, it is. Yeah. I, I saw that coming across somewhere here. Let's see. Yeah. Um, Maybe getting into the news just for oil? Or Yeah, let's see. So if I go CLZ7 commodity. Yeah. There, go. there, there it is. There you go. Yeah, so OPEC said shale oil production will grow considerably faster than expected over the next four years after the group's output cuts triggered a crude price recovery that helped U.S. producers. Oh, right. Um, North American shale output will, will soar 7.5 million barrels a day in 2021 um, to 7.5 million barrels a day. The Organization of Petroleum Exporting Countries, OPEC, said in its World Oil Outlook yep. report Tuesday. That's a 56% higher than its forecast a year ago. So, I mean, no matter what OPEC is doing, no matter what ends up happening in Saudi Arabia, it's not as important to the price of oil as it used to be when you have shale just really, and let's scroll down to that graph. I just, maybe that's... Yeah, look at that. That's quite a revision. Yeah. So that's the World Oil Outlook reports and... For shale. Right. Yeah. And this is what they thought it was going to be in 2016. And yeah. This is their new updated report in 2017. And so you can see there's a lot So more. you know what's intriguing? They, they've decided, uh, which is really smart, at first they were trying to fight it. 
And that's when oil went so low. They just kept saying, okay, we're going to put these guys out of business, kept reducing, reducing. And then so this um, uh, the new leader, he's just going the opposite way. He says, no, we're cutting back to get the price higher. That's what he's okay. been doing. And this is going to, it looks like it's going to work, that they're going to say that, no, you know, yeah, we're going to deal with the shale, but guess what? We're going to get more money too. And we're going to pump less oil. Okay. Mm. But they don't control this. this that's where, no matter no, how they, much they cut, there's going to be a supply glut that they can't influence as much. Well, when they cut their oil production, when the Saudis cut yes. their oil production, that is saying that, let's say if you're a shale producer, that's saying I'm giving you, I'm going to raise the price, and we know that when I raise the price, shale production is going to go up because it's so less inexpensive. Okay. And But... I think they're figuring out that, well, great, we need a higher price of oil and we got to share the bounty here because if we go keep going lower, that's not getting us anything. And okay. they didn't put everyone out of business like they thought they were going to. Okay. You know, that's kind of my take on how this whole thing's shaken out, but we'll find out. Um, you know, but that, that's over in Saudi Arabia. It's, it's, oh, and just to finish ahead. it up, so, you know, one more. Yeah. Um, where was the cut they had? So North American shale production for 2017 is now seen at 5.1 million barrels a day, yeah. up by almost a quarter from last year's report. So OPEC and its partners, including Russia, are meeting in Vienna on November 30th to decide whether to extend the deal to curb production beyond the end of March. Since January 1st, they've targeted output cuts of 1.8 million barrels a day. And so what to take from this, I take from it, though, too, is that so they're looking to cut almost 2, billion, 2 million barrels a day, right? And, but that cut is going to be completely offset by these growths in shale. Do you see? So they yeah. won't even have the effect that they're hoping on price because they're cutting 2 million barrels. Meanwhile, shares, shale is producing more than 2 million barrels than they thought, you know. So that cut isn't having that effect. That's where I, that's what I take from that. Indices, let's go look at these indices here. It looks like uh, Tiger's done saying they're getting red. Look, oh, that's interesting. <laughs> there you go. So uh, Dow right now is down three. You get the Nasdaq off 16. Uh, s and P's are flat. And uh, what? Uh, and during that last break too, they uh, whacked the gold market. So uh, gold went down to a price point of uh, 12.72. Rejected it. We're at 12.76. It's a little volatility. Yeah, you're down 550. Uh, maybe we'll uh, get some action. I like how that gold contract's uh, lining up, though. The bonds, we're going to come back and talk about the bonds, folks, because the bonds look to me like they're really lining up for some big numbers. 877-927-6648. Dow's down three. Nasdaq's off 17. S&P's are down one. What's going on? Must be illegal. Has the current market volatility continued to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. 
Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to the Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN TFNN, live on your mobile device, 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow right now up five, Nasdaq down 12, S&P's a flat. Uh, bottom line is that the bulls won't give it up, man. <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> not even close. Uh, let's go uh, take a look at, so, you know, we were just talking about uh, uh, Weight Watches. So look at this. This is, this is pretty intense. So Weight Watches, uh, uh, Improbable Rally has fresh momentum. The weight loss company shares rose 22% to 54.47, hitting the highest intraday price in four years. That game would put the stock's year-to-date surge at 375%. Not bad. Pretty amazing, man. Uh, Weight Watch has also continued to streak by adding subscribers. Another sign that it's technology investments and marketing are paying off. Key to that effort uh, is Oprah Winfrey, who acquired a stake in the business two years ago and agreed to become a face of the program. Um, the face of the program. Yeah, the, what's, that's a turn of pivotal. Does it happen when she bought it? Uh, it said two years ago. Two years ago, okay. Let me pull this up for a second. So, An earlier stock rally in 2015 when Winfrey bought about 10% of the company and agreed to pitch the brand was short-lived, but the shares have come roaring back in 2017. So I think it was early 2015, maybe. WTW. So I think it was that big spike, but we'll find out. Let's see. So two years. Oh, there she is. That's it. Yeah, that's right. only that's only about a year ago, right? Yeah, so we're going back to here somewhere. Okay, so let's bring it back three years. That's what it must be. If, I mean, that just starts right. We'll be able to see it. Ah, uh, there it is. Yeah, right here. Yeah, which is what you'd point out. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. So, and what's remarkable though is it took some time. You know, she yeah. was in there for a good yeah. solid year and a half. I mean, if you just look at it. Right, I mean, what was yeah. it trading at then? So call it even 7.25, right. the high of that. Yep. Um, it spikes all the way up in the following 28. month to 28 before pulling back in the next month to $10. Yep. Um, and then and it kind of hangs out there all the way until March of this year, really. Or even call it February of this year, you're at $11, up to 52. Pretty wild. Yeah. So uh, let's just see, revenue-wise, I'm just curious what they do so here. $3.4 billion company. Okay. Wow. So, yeah, yeah. Five years ago, it did 1.7 billion. This year, 1.3. But it is growing again. Yeah, and I would say that you know that number there is a big number. 30 percent growth, three years, and you're looking at you know the shrinking factor from yep. 2013 to 2015, right? Maybe it takes that year to stabilize, and then you have some growth here. Wow. Yeah. Weight watches, pretty wild. Yeah. Um, Let's go take a look at, uh, I wonder what SKWS, I want to see what's hitting these uh, Apple suppliers. No, let's see. I hit the wrong one, sure. evidently. SWKS. So that's down almost 6%. 
seven dollars. Uh, it's, it doesn't look as bad in the chat as it, it does when kind of you look at it. Yeah. A few days. So let's see what they say here. There's not much in there, right? Oh, here it is. Is they, oh, was, yeah, oh, the IC, they came out with the, the earnings last night. Okay, so the estimate was $1.75. Adjusted, they made $1.82. Estimate was nine eighty in revenue. They made nine eighty four. So bottom line, they they made their numbers right. That's what it looks yeah, like. And, oh, what we just Skyworks is view conservative with iPhone X push. Maybe yeah. some of these well positioned, but needs more. Yeah. Says inline outlook may pressure sales. There's a lot of negative headlines um, outside of. But yeah, looks like. Top yeah. Street fourth quarter forecast even, um, but they're selling it. Yes, they are. That's they're why I was looking it. for even a little bit more and negative if, somewhere. And if we in go there. over to Apple for a second, Apple's still hanging tough. Apple's 174, and there's quite a story today in the uh, Journal about uh, Apple and how they save so much money in taxes. Okay, you know, totally legal. That's sure. for sure, and you know, smart. Uh, where where they were where they were going with it uh, was that they had Tim Cook uh, in front of Congress, you know, saying that no, we you know we pay all our taxes, of course, and all that. And simultaneously, what was happening is that they were going from Ireland, which was protecting taxes in a huge way. Okay, and then the European Central uh, Union was going on top of Ireland, saying, "Oh, you guys are getting all the money." And so they were suing Ireland, and that's still going on to try yes. to get. And so they went from Ireland to the Jersey Island, to the Jersey Islands, J -E, just like New Jersey. Okay, okay. It's, a, it's a whole other domination. Okay. Of and the questions were domicile. The, yeah, the, the questions to Tim Cook were that. Well, now you're going down to the Caribbean. He said, no, we weren't going to the Caribbean. And that's, and that's what the journal was saying. No, he wasn't going to the Caribbean. The Jersey okay. Islands are somewhere else. Okay. <laughs> oh, man, I'm telling you. Yeah. And, 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 you know, the tax bill, folks, okay, and I was talking about this. Um, you know, the, the tax bill about the, the aspect of you have a million-dollar um, deduction right now, okay, that, that is, you know, interest deduction on a house. They're bringing that down to 500000 and, I, you know, I said right off the bat, I said, the, the easiest, that's a loophole so big, you just you buy everything on an LLC and you just write it off because you could write it off. Well, this morning, folks, and they explained this really well, this is absolutely, uh, there's going to be so many fights because what happened is this. Let's picture that you have an LLC and you're, you're going through, um, you're buying everything. You're buying real estate, you're buying this, you're buying that. You're going to be able to write off anything. And the, what they showed this morning is that uh, I'm Tom Brady and I'm getting paid, right? Well, guess what? I'm going to have all those Restrictions. So I'm getting paid by what? what I'm getting. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a quarterback. Okay. I'm, a, it does, I'm getting. I'm getting. You're a worker. Okay. But the bottom line you have is a salary. The, the workers are going to continue to basically get taken to the cleaners versus any type of pass-throughs. If you have a pass-through, you got it made. Sure. A pass-through. What's going to happen is that. Let's picture in a pass-through right now, folks. If, if you're in the. Let's say you're in a 35 percent bracket. No matter what pass-through you get, you're going to pay 35 percent or 35 dollars on every hundred dollars you make taxes. What's going to happen is that a lot of people have two or three pass-throughs. If you're getting paid from one business and you have three pass-throughs, right, immediately if you're in the 35 percent tax bracket, you're going to pay 35 percent on what your payroll is, right? Everything else, you're going to go down to 25 percent. Sure. Legally. Yes, that's, that's the new law. Yeah. Right? So that's going to be a fight, I think. Do you know what I mean? Because once people Supposedly, it's supposed to be a middle class deal. Once people realize that if you're working for a living, you're, well, you're not going to get that, man. You're, you're going you're gonna to pay. I hope so. We don't get too political, but it's all out there who's getting the cuts. So I love your optimism, but it's already out there, in my opinion, and nobody seems to recognize what you're talking about. Just well, that's my that's, skeptic. That's why we're talking about it. <laughs> I agree. So that we can get, you know, folks factually into. Love your optimism, you know, but what, I'm living what, in what is out climate, there. and people aren't. Too interested in finding out things that they disagree with, in my opinion. Well, I think when it hits their pocketbook, they're going to realize that you know they can say that it's a middle class deal, but if you it's a middle class, if you have pass throughs, folks, it's a field day. It's it's a field day. If you don't have a pass through, guess what? You get nothing.
it's you know in fact if you make a little bit too much uh, you, you're gonna get taken a few years pretty quick 877-927-6648 Dow's down 17 Nasdaq's down 19 S&P's are off 2 gonna be right back are China A shares hot or not if you trade China A shares now may be time to take a closer look trade CHAU or CHAD Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of the Trader's Edge heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNM.com. TFNN has put together the finest programming lineup each trading day, featuring some of the most knowledgeable and respected financial minds in the nation to educate traders and investors. On Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, we broadcast eight hours a day, starting at 9 a.m. as Larry Pesavento kicks us off with Trade What You See. Tuesdays and Thursdays, we broadcast 11 hours. Get an early and healthy start to your day as Nico and Paige bring you Living a Primal Lifestyle. Then catch Andy Hecht at 5 p.m. with the Commodities Hour, following the Tom O'Brien Show. Swim Lessons from TD Ameritrade, Think or Swim, is now at 11 a.m., followed by Basil Chapman at 12 noon. See the TFNN program lineup via the link on the front page of TFNN.com to get a complete overview of our TFNN shows and hosts. And keep TFNN's Tiger TV tuned in on your mobile device, PC, or Mac for the latest financial news and information throughout the broadcasting day. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Learn how to trade options with Swim Lessons. Brought to you by TD Ameritrade. Think or Swim. Next on TFNN. <laughs> Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow right now is down 20, Nasdaq's off 21, S&Ps are off 2. Let's go to our man Paul in San Jose, California. Hey, Paul, what's going on, brother? Good morning, guys. How you guys doing? Doing great, doing man. Good, Yourself? Man. I'm doing great. I'm enjoying the show today. A lot of really good information. I, I'm looking forward to that uh, the, the seminar with Larry with the cryptos. Yeah, I know. And, um, we are, too. Big time. talking about during the break, yeah. for sure. Oh, I'm knee-deep in the cryptos. I can't I wait know. to get I, on I remember you calling us. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> The last time I called you guys, Litecoin, um, that day, it was the three-day weekend in September. Yeah. It went from uh, 57 to almost 100 after I got off the phone with you guys uh, that, that same day. It was nuts. <laughs> man, oh, man. I hope you sold <laughs> some of crazy. it, did you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Good. Um, there I you go. You. Got out of there. Hey, Tom, I wanted to ask uh, you and Tommy about uh, Equifax. So uh, you, it's trading 107. Uh, the low for the year is 89. The high is 147. You get a six and a half percent short interest. I mean, I wouldn't be buying it. That high end. Well, that, I'm short. Um, okay. Here's what I did. So it did. It only got a uh, about a 38 percent retracement on that huge gap down. Yep. Um, and it failed there. So I pulled the trigger short at 113. 
but it's kind of flagging out here, and I'm, I don't know what to do. I don't know if I should get out of this thing or... Uh, no, I'd hang tight. I it to roll over already. I'd hang tight and let it see what happens when it gets into 100. So 100 is the high of the low that day, of the, of the 14th. And if you commit to that, it looks like it's going to swing down to that. We'll test it. Now, if you test that with light volume, then, yeah, close it right there, because then you'll bounce again um, before it tries to test the bottom of that. But... That's good. Yeah. That's I don't good. see that skyrocketing up anytime soon. Yeah. It could creep up, you know, but right. if it's going to jump one way or the other, it's jumping down. So yeah. just keep your eye on it for sure. Okay. Cooking, brother. Cool. Hey, thanks, guys. Thanks, Paul. Stay right there, folks. we got swim lessons coming up. Oh, no, yeah, swim yep. lessons coming up next. I'm Mr. Basil Chapman, Steve Rhodes, Dave White, myself, and Andy. Have a great one. Thanks, thanks pal. Wow! Go get him, folks. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com.